spring tulips don't stick around long enough, except on this wreath for your front door. And you can make your own version in less than an hour. Crafter Brienne Davies is here to show us how. It's so great to meet you. Thanks for being here. Thanks, good to meet you too. This wreath is stunning. And if I read this correctly, is, is it true less than 30 bucks? Yeah, right around 30 for the wreath. 30 bucks. Yep. Yeah. It's so full, <laughs> it's so lush. That's what I love about it. And celebrating the tulip, which as I said, just comes and goes so quickly in spring, right? Yes, it does. What supplies do we need to get started, Brienne? Okay, so uh, this is a 14 inch grapevine wreath. Okay. And it's about 10 bucks and then about 12 of these tulip bushes. And, tulip bushes. And these are $2 each, so that's how it's about 30 bucks. So you're getting a good dozen flowers for two bucks? Uh-huh. I love the variation too. I love how it's not just pink, but there's kind of a softer pink and a darker pink. That's probably what adds to this overall effect, yeah? Uh, yes, exactly. Okay, what do we do first? So you just start, you just take your tulip bush, uh -huh. and I just start with my wire cutter, just cutting okay. a few inches down. I've never heard it called a tulip bush. I know, I had not There's a lot, I mean, it's bushy. There's a lot of tulips going on there. <laughs> so you want it about that length. Okay. And then you just get your fingers and just push the leaves to the tips. Okay, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, and you don't want to push your flower off the end. Right, but it keeps moving with you. You just slide it right along. Uh-huh. That's magic. So once, so I went through and cut all of these. Okay. But then once they're that. all. Hold on. Keep going. So go all the way to the bottom. Oh yeah. But yeah, then once they're all cut, you just get your glue gun. And I just glue maybe an inch on the bottom. I had no idea the plastic just moves like that. It just slides around. I know it. Okay. So I glue about an inch, and then all you do is just stuff it in here. Okay. It's very easy. And are you going, it looks like you're going one direction. So yeah, so I kind of, these ones are cut beforehand. I kind of so I push up the leaf. Uh -huh. I kind of like twist it a little bit. Okay. And then put the glue on. Because that's the other fun element is it sort of has a movement to it. Like you feel like you're, you know, it's the circular <laughs> motion. You're kind of moving with the wreath. Yeah. So you just want to kind of poke them in different directions and you'll just keep going all the way around doing that. Will you show us how you twist again? We'll, we'll grab a shot of you doing that. But you gave yes. it just a little bend to keep with that motion. Yeah. So push the up the leaves up. and then I just kind of bend it a little bit. And there's the bend. And it just pops in. How many tulip bushes does it take to fill this? grapevine wreath. So I did 12 on this one. 12. Okay. Yes. Look at that. And just gluing and stuffing. So all of uh -huh. the all of the mechanics are hidden in the back. You won't see. How do you finish it off? Yes. And then I did a bow and you don't have to. You could be done with just the gluing. Sure. But I did a bow. So the way I did my bow was I cut one piece that has like the tails okay. on it. Yeah. And then one long piece. So the way that I did this was Kind of made an eight. Okay. So come in that way and come in that way. Got it. And then I put a little so bottom bit of to glue. top. And then you grab the top of your eight. Okay. And stick it in the glue and the other part of the eight. Did okay. that make sense? Look at that. That's genius. What a good way so, to fold it up. Yeah. Oh, and then I just have this little wire that I cut off the uh -huh. ribbon uh -huh. and just cinch it. Tie it around like that. Right in the middle. And you have the perfect four square bow. I love yeah. that rhythm, rhythm too, with the detail, kind of the detail on the Yeah, I like it. End. What are the reactions? This is hanging on your front door. What reactions are you getting from visitors and friends? Oh, people like it, and a lot of people have made it, and it's been fun. A lot of people have sent me pictures, so it's been fun to see. Some people have done yellows and creams. Some people have done a mixture of all different colors, and yeah. it's been fun to see all the variations. And I mean, fun exclamation point that you created <laughs> this idea, and now you're seeing this wreath literally on doors everywhere. That's got to be really cool. <laughs> yeah. Any other ways you personalized it? Um, the ribbon, so, you can choose the yeah, color. Yeah, the ribbons. Somebody said that they chose to pull off the leaves. Oh. And so it was just all pink. Just tulips. Yeah. I kind of like the leaves though. It adds kind of a I wild like. mother nature organic feel, right? Yeah. So that motion we talked about. And then the ribbon tails just kind of coming down the center to complete it. Well, thank you so much for showing us. This is thank so fun. You. Where can we get more craft inspiration from you? So my Instagram account, Bree Builds, is where I share. Okay, Bree Builds, any fun projects coming up for spring? What's on your project bucket list? Anything you wanna do or wanna take on? Um, I'm doing my kids' playroom right now, so. Fun, that's. okay. <laughs> Always good to see those progress projects. So yeah. we'll link you over to Brienne's Instagram from our website if you want an easy connection point. Happy spring, thanks for sharing. Thanks, you too.